Good morning everybody, Deanne here. Uh, I wanted to come on and show you how I made my little uh, bunny, mason jar bunny. Um, it's got a little tail and I use lamb's ear uh, leaves for the ears. So I'm going to show you how I made this. What you need, I use the plastic jar. Uh, mason jar from the Dollar Tree but I mean you can use a glass one or you know a can whatever you have in your you know clean one out from the refrigerator recycle is good this is just happens to be what I had on hand and you'll need a piece of foam for the inside just a you know small piece I got this from the Dollar Tree it comes in thin blocks you will need some twine I got this from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped the top. Uh, you'll need some kind of bow for the ear. This is my flower for the tail. And you'll need flowers, some kind of fluffy flower. I have these I'm recycling from another project. This came, I can't remember if this was the Dollar Tree or AC Moore. Um, I just kind of shoved them down inside. <laughs> so it's really easy to make. Um, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is paint. Oh, and I am blurry. Why am I blurry? Okay. Um, the first, this one is white, and I did this one a cream color. So you're going to paint it. I put three coats on, and then I glued in the piece of foam. And the next thing you're going to do is the face. So I restarted. What I did was I cut out a heart shape and like a teardrop for the eye and traced them. So I painted the nose pink. This is pink eraser is the color. And the eye, I'm using this vintage effects color wash paint. Um, it's called patina. You can use whatever color you want. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this pink for the cheeks. That's actually the pink that I did on this nose. So you'll want to paint your eye. Look at my paints. Uh, start with the black. Oh, my paintbrush. Here we go. <laughs> so we're just going to paint the eye. Just going to do it real quick. Got to sit this down. Not the best painter in the world. <laughs> that would be my sister. She's a way better painter. And it's a little off, but that's okay. So you're just going to paint it just an easy, you know, fill it in. And then put this in water. You're going to want to take whatever color you're using for the eye. Put this here so it doesn't move. Um, blue would be pretty. Any color, like an amber. And I just take the fattest end of a paintbrush that I have. <laughs> um, if you have other something, a big round dowel or something, you could use that. Um, don't know how this is going to turn out because I'm painting wet on wet so it might not work you want to let it dry in between yeah see it's getting messed up so I'm going to stop you just want to make a circle like that and then you're going to take a black again and do another circle offset so you still have some of that showing through so let me take the black reference and you're just going to kind of fill it in you can have as much showing as you want and then you're just going to let that dry 
And then you're going to want to come on with I used some white paint and just did a couple of lines and a couple of dots. That just helps bring it to life. And then I took a marker and did a couple of little eyelashes. So that's all you have to do for it uh, to make the eyes. And it should look like this, kind of. <laughs> so I'm not going to do any more to this because, you know, who wants to wait for paint to dry? Not me. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the top part. Uh, I'm going to take the twine. Well, you could also use ribbon. So that would be pretty too around the top. But it's a little wide. So, you know, what? let me try. Let's see if I cut this. Scissors. Cut it down a little bit. That. And maybe fray it a little. I like the frayed look. There we go. And then put that around. Oh, yeah, that's cute. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my hot glue. Just put my lid on my paint because that would be really bad. <laughs> All right. Oops. I'm going to start in the back, try not to stick my finger in the wet paint. I'm just going to cover this. You don't have to put glue all over, just in spots to help hold it in place. Most of it's not going to show anyways from the flowers. Oh boy, totally messing this one up with the paint. Um, Just cut off the excess. All right. And now um, we're going to take the flowers. And I just bunched them together with um, a Chanel stem. And we're going to push them down in really good. Actually, I think I'm going to add a third one and see how full it looks. Oops. Ugh, like really cram it in there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The other one was a little fuller, so I think I will add one more in. There we go. That's pretty cute. And then... For the ears, I took the, the lamb's ear and just glued it onto a wooden skewer. Did two of them. Uh, let's see. Gonna have to cut some of it off. You just kind of got to measure it. It depends on what size your, your jar is. Oops, just dropped something there. Let's try this. That'll work good. So I'm going to cut the same amount off of this one. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. Just if I can get it in there. <laughs> hmm. Got this a little too thick. I see something I forgot to do. You want to kind of pinch it down here and, and uh, put some hot glue in it. It gives it more of a shape. This is a little too flat. So you just grab these little paper clip. Helps. Ah. Well, it sets up. It'll dry like that. This. I gotta come up with a better setup for my camera. 
kind of all over the place. All right, so we need to let that dry for just a second. And I can go ahead and glue the tail on. I just picked a flower, a rose, fluffy looking rose flower, you know, for a fluffy cotton tail. Or you could use um, a cotton ball. That would be cute too. And put it on to the back. Set up for a second. There's the tail. So that's pretty cute. Let's see if he's set up enough yet. Yep, that feels good. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so the idea is to put it towards the back. So let's try this. One. Mm. There we go. There's our little ears. Oops. I think I need to cut a little more off. It's a very forgiving craft. So I cut another almost inch off. Let's try that again. Many little spindles in this. Hmm. Come on. There we go. A little better. And my goodness. If I wasn't on camera, it would have went in the first try, of course. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's a little better. Fluff it around. And then we just need to glue our bow on. Just a little glue. Pink on this one. Sorry, I need to turn it so I can see what I'm working with. That's pretty good. All right, so there's our bunny. That. Here's my original one, which is way nicer. <laughs> Uh, and then you just need to like draw on the face. I used a brush and just took some of the lighter pink and just dabbed a little bit. And then I took the white back over it just to lighten it up. So it has a little, just a little, you know, some rosy cheeks. And then just kind of paint these on, which is not the neatest paint job. And a couple eyebrows. So that is it. That's my little mason jar bunnies. I uh, hope you like them and give them a try. They'd be really fun for a kid's project. Um, all right, guys. Take care. Bye.